What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap up. And I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm about to get ready to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which is the latest Ninja Turtles movie that is currently out right now. I think that's why I even, even chose him to wear this shirt because this is the closest thing to a Ninja Turtles merchandise that I have. I don't have any Ninja Turtles merchandise, and I think about it. I really don't. But anyway, so. Like I said, this is the latest movie, and you know, and this movie, of course, is just like like all the others. Even though I've been seeing all of the Ninja Turtles movies, but you no, know, it talks about the origin of them with them, and you know, Master Splinter, and of course, and then of course, you know, they they encounter you know April O'Neil, who is you know like you know who is definitely who plays a big part in the in the turtles' lives. And in this movie, you know, they are, they're facing off, you know, their, their usual nemesis, you know, Rocksteady, Bebop, and this time, and, but, and, and also this time they are facing Superfly. Now, you know, out of the shadows, I feel like I, I may be the only one who was a fan of, of out of the shadows when it comes to the Ninja Turtle movies. I mean, I know some of the loyal fans didn't like that movie or the one before that, but this movie definitely tops it all i mean i mean because like i mentioned earlier well a few a few minutes ago in the review i haven't seen all the ninja turtle movies but from all the ones i have seen eye of the shadows was my favorite up until i saw mutant mayhem and this movie it was just so it was just so awesome man you know it was it was good from i enjoyed the movie from start to finish you know the turtles you know they they still had their personalities nothing changes nothing had changed about them when it came to creating them I mean, the storyline is different. I will, I will give it that. And even, even when it came to, even when it comes to their origins, the origin is different. But I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I feel like I'm spoiling it. And then that's not what I do here on the wrap up. But you know, you got the voice talents of Ice Cube, who voices Superfly, Jackie Chan, who voices Master Splitter, and you got Seth Rogen and John Cena, who voice Rocksteady and Bebop. Which they de which which they, it definitely does fit them, from seeing the characters that they play, and Ice Cube just did just such an outstanding job voicing Superfly too. By the way, Jackie Chan did a good job too. I mean, all the all the voice actors and actresses did a good job. I mean, even even actors who voiced April O'Neil. I mean, she did a good job, and you got and then you got these you got these young guys who are voicing the turtles. You know, they did good, and what I really did like about this movie. You know, since I enjoyed it from start to finish, was that I like the I mean I like the animation. The animation was good. It kind of remind me of Spider Verse. The action scenes was good. You know, cartoon and cartoon action action scenes just be so dope if you're able to pull it off. And that's what this movie did. And uh, the one thing I did not like about it though was the story was what they did to the villains. I'm not gonna say too much. Well, actually, I'm just leaving right there. I'm not going to say anything else because I don't feel like I'm spoiling it. I did not like how what they did to some of the villains in the movie. And I'm going to just leave it like that. But still, I still didn't enjoy it. And the way, and you know, there are some changes in the movie. But some of the changes, I, some of the changes were actually pretty good. And um, if, they, if they do make a sequel to it, because it, look like, it looks like a sequel could be made, I will definitely check it out. Because... You know the movie was just it had some you know it had some heartwarming moments and you know it had the goofy moments because you know it's the turtles and that's what I like you know it had had a little bit of everything in it and it was just you know it but just the action though I'm just thinking about the action scenes right now and just the turtles personalities you know I, I like how they still kept it you know like they're like the personalities that they have even though it is some changes in the movie and even when it comes to April O'Neil you know April O'Neil she's no, this April, I mean, this April O'Neil is different. You know, she, you know, she, she's a different type of April O'Neil, but I do like her. She's a good one. I mean, some of the characters, I mean, well, Turtle still got the same personalities, but Splitter, his personality is a little bit different in the movie. And Superfly, his personality is still the same. Of course, Rocksteady and Bebop, they, their personalities are, are, are going to be the same. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just incredible. I mean, if you're a fan of, of the Ninja Turtles... I think you will enjoy this. This has definitely been a comeback for 
for when it comes to the to to the turtles movies and i know that when it comes to when it comes to like rotten tomato percentages i know this movie tops it tops it all when it could but you compare it to all the other ninja turtle movies and it's just you know it's just fun for both for both the parents and the kids especially especially if you're a millennial parent like i mean i'm not a parent but you're a millennial like me then you know we grew up we grew up watching the old anime series of the ninja turtles and also playing it on the super nintendo which was a dope game then you also had a nickelodeon show that came out but i ain't watched that one but yes i mean it, it was just so fun and almost want to see it again and that's really all i gotta really really say about it i mean go i mean but yeah i mean they i mean the the way how they did the characters i did like what they did to all the characters overall but except for that one thing with the villains and you'll probably know what i'm talking about if you've seen you know if you if if you have seen the movie and then you'll know what I'm, you'll know what i'm talking about when you do see the movie so for mutant mayhem's grade i give it a b plus and out of five stars i give it i give it four out of five stars and until then this is ryan a polk with the wrap up feel free to comment below what you thought about this review or the movie if you have seen the movie and feel free to like this like this video and if you want to see more views from me hit that subscribe button to 